and Gota takes on the world record holder, who must really be feeling the effects, one would suspect, at a very fast 5,000 metres in West Germany, in Koblenz on Wednesday night. Rono in second place. Good tactics by Gota, who lacks finishing speed, still a long way to go, but at least he's testing Rono where it hurts, a long way from home, and finding out just how much uh, that fast five has affected Rono's legs. Rono's let him go, he's now about 10, 12 metres clear. And Mick McLeod goes into third place, Ripple is fourth. And Gota, despite all his courage, is in trouble. Coming round now, Rono is closing all the time. Seven laps to go for the two of them, and Rono is back in the race. Mick McLeod goes into third, but Rono closing all the time. Nearly 50,000 in this stadium, erupting as Rono, so popular on the continent, gets back with a Gota. Gota's last lap, he's not slowing, was a 66. But Rono is there. Rono on the shoulder of Gota now. The high jump at 7.4 and three quarters. But all eyes now because Lismont is in fifth and the Belgians would love a win. Now Britain's had a good season. We've won the Golden 10, we've won the Golden 5, we've won the Golden Sprint. But Henry Rono is returning to form. Now 29 years of age. The man from the Rift Valley who went to Washington State University and twice won the NCAA title. He's going away a little bit now. He won the National Collegiate Indoor title, and then he had that fabulous burst when in uh, April, May, and June of 1978, he set the world records that David Colmer was talking about. Henry Rono, hungry for victory again, having had a marvelous 5,000 meter, and here he's going away from Julian Goda, but Julian Goda trying very hard to hang on to the pace. Just for a moment, go to see to revive. But Rono getting new life from this crowd as well. Now, eight, nine, ten meters clear. And a separate battle going on for third place between Ripple of Switzerland, Mike McLeod of Great Britain. But Rono now made the attack when Gota was at his most vulnerable. Gota had tried to break Rono, appeared to have done so, was perhaps taking a slight easy himself, Although I must say, looking at the lap times, that is not quite true, because he's gone 66, 66, 67, and Rono still caught him. Five laps to go. Great Britain fourth through Mike McLeod. In fifth place, Lisbon of Belgium. Incidentally, the program here is running extremely late. And certainly, Rono will go into the list at 10,000 meters as one of the world's leading runners this year. He's sure of that now. Carol Lismond has gone into fourth place ahead of Mike McLeod, and Rono goes on his way towards the last lap. <laughs> Julian Gota in second place now, 45 meters back. Third is Ripple of Switzerland, fourth is Lismond, with Mike McLeod hanging on to Lisbon now, they're locked together in the battle for fourth place. Well, greatness touched this man in 1978. Four world records, and it seems that elusive quality has been rediscovered. Something in Rono's running life went missing, but he certainly recaptured it. And when you think that runners like John Walker and David Moorcroft at home have stepped up from the mile to the 5,000 meters to avoid Sebastian Cohen's Steve Ovet, and having done that, they now find Rono coming back to his very best. First the 5,000 on Wednesday, and tonight the 10,000 in 27 minutes, 40 seconds, and Gota in second place, well inside a personal bet. And that time by Rono, the second fastest time in the world this year. Ripple of Switzerland finishes 
third. In fourth place, Mike McLeod having a private battle with this one, which McLeod is going to win. So Rono completes a most rewarding 48 hours. First, the second fastest time in history in Koblenz, West Germany on Wednesday night at 5,000 meters. And now, having recovered with surprising speed, he clocks the second fastest 10,000 in the world this year. And Julian Gota in second place, a personal best, 47.2, some eight seconds faster than he's ever run before. And that puts him at number five in the world record holder, Henry Rono Senior, on a near world record pace. Opened up with a 63, 63, 63, 63, 63. Tremendous pacemaking, absolutely spot on, even pace. Then Julian Gota, who's in second place, took it over, slowed to a 65, but Rono back in front now at a 64, and just outside a world record schedule. Julian Gota, the national cross country champion, in second place. In third place now, Steve Jones, the Welshman. And just dropping away slightly is Hargel Scenes of Belgium. But Rono's return to form has been quite astonishing this season. And now, week after week, he's knocking out world-class races. Well, Henry Rono's last two 5,000-meter races have been 13-12. And to any normal athlete, that would have meant you were pretty tired. But Henry Rono is showing that he's not a normal athlete by any means, and he's pressing this pace on. He's almost on schedule for 13.10 or 13.12. And if Julian Gota can stay with him over the next lap and a half, which is the crucial point, then Julian could be in sight of a, of a personal best time, and certainly a British record could be on the cards for Julian. But he must stay at it now, because this is a crucial area, and even Rono's confidence will wane when he starts to get really tired. And the British record that Gota may threaten is, of course, the one held by Brendan Foster and set in 1974 at the Rome Olympic Stadium when Brendan won the European Championship. British record time is 13 minutes, 14.6. And the British all-comers uh, record seems almost sure to go at the moment, set by David Bedford nine years ago at 13 minutes, 17.21. And David Bedford in the crowd here watching as a member of the International Athletes Club. Well, when Henry Rono told us in the car park in Oslo after the Dream Mile, he'd run the 5,000, uh, first 5,000 for 10,000 that night, that he was getting down to serious training and getting back to the top. We smiled and thought, well, coming back is very, very hard indeed and happens to so few. But now Rono is absolutely back and getting away from Julian Gota. Hargelstein has gone third and Steve Jones in fourth place. And Julian Gota really has got to keep digging in here, but his stride is shortening and he's getting very, very tired. It's an absolute pleasure to watch Henry Rono run like this because it's been a long time since we saw anyone take on a 5,000 meter field and destroy them from the front. And I'm sure that's why people like Eamon Coughlin and John, West and John Walker and Thomas Wessinghager are certainly not too sure that the 5,000 meters is going to be their event. It's, it's always been well received any kind of front runner, but Henry Rono is a front runner of great distinction. Julian Gota is running another courageous race as he ran against Rono in Brussels, and I'm certainly hopeful that Julian will get some kind of time because he certainly deserves it. He's had an excellent season and he's finishing off really, really well. Two laps to go for Henry Rono and Julian Gota, and they're getting tremendous encouragement for the families who've packed. Crystal Palace for this meeting. It's now become one of the great traditional British meetings. Goten still losing ground on Rono. Hargelstein's having a private battle for third place with Steve Jones. But Henry Rono beaten in Italy on Wednesday night in a world-class 5,000 won by Kunze of East Germany in the second fastest time in history at 13 minutes 10. Rono's world record is 38. And in third place that night was Abramov of the Soviet Union, beaten twice by Moorcroft and Barry Smith this season in European Cup 5000. And Rono that night had to be content with third place, but it was significant with two or three laps to go. Apparently Rono had been pacemaking, moved out and slowed it down. He virtually said to Kunza and Abramov, I'm not shaking you off, I'm not going to bait the pace myself and merely set up the breaking of my own world record. 
and in fact it worked out that way he slowed them down sufficiently to just miss it the bell sweet music to Henry Rono and he's really got to kick it in now Rono some 20 meters clear the time of the bell 12 minutes 12 seconds he won't break the world record surely at 13 uh, 8 but he's really driving on down that back straight and it's going to be one of the fastest times yet again in the world this year and the British all comers record seems absolutely certain to go Julian Gota driving hard in second place he's just about holding the gap and Rono sprinting again but Bedford's British all comers record sure to go Tremendous volume of noise from the pack stands. And Rono lifts himself once more. Julian Gota is just maintaining the gap. Rono wins. Gota in second place. The time and you all come as record at 13 minutes 12. And Gota has just missed Brendan Costa's British record. In third place, Steve Jones. In fourth place, Hargill Steens of Belgium. And the all-comers record has certainly gone 13 12.3 and Julian Gota became the second fastest man or should be the second fastest man at 13 15 Brendan Foster remaining the fastest Britain ever magnificent run the finest 5,000 meters we've ever seen in these islands uh, that was an absolute pleasure to watch, to watch a front runner like Henry Rono demonstrate that that world record is certainly within, uh, and run his third, third 13 12 in a matter of weeks. But Julian Gota, a fantastic run, he deserved everything he got, and what a great run from those two men. So, this has been a splendid night of athletics. We've had several.